that wasn't the only oddity that night. Bob, during that 1995 trip, uh, Bourbon Street in New Orleans is many uh, fun offerings. We're far from the main distractions. Ron McKelvey, a junior defensive back, was wrapping up his junior season until the Longhorns realized there was nothing really junior about him. Taji Allen will never forget his Sugar Bowl roommate. He wakes me up at, you know, two or three in the morning and said, hey, I'm, I got to get out of here. I'm leaving. You know, he says, man, I, you know, it's great playing with you guys. I, you know, they're going to come looking for me. I'm like, who's coming to look for you? For one season, under the name Ron McKelvey, Ron Weaver pulled off an all-timer. And then all of a sudden, you find out Ron McKelvey ain't Ron McKelvey. It started to feel like you were in a movie or something like that. You know, this actually happened to one of the most storied programs. A former Division II player in California, Weaver used an acquaintance's social security number and identity to extend his college playing days. Then hours before the Sugar Bowl, Texas's 30-year-old roster imposter was exposed. Weaver was supposed to be in New Orleans for Sunday night Sugar Bowl, but he skipped the Big Easy when his hometown newspaper reported the fake. So Coach Mack tonight saying, are you, is your name really James Brown? Are you really James Brown? Texas lost to Virginia Tech 28 to 10, and for many, the epic distraction is what they'll remember most. We had to get up at five in the morning that morning and discuss like what can happen to us. Are we gonna be getting put on probation? Will this game count? <laughs> All those things was going on in our head at the same time finding out this guy ain't who he is. But for most Texas players, there's memories of a good teammate. And in hindsight, one they knew was a tad different. Not a lot of college students walk around in slippers and, 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 and a house robe drinking coffee. <laughs> Seven o'clock in the morning, it's Ron brewing coffee. He had his coffee maker, and he'd be down there reading the newspaper. There were rumors about Weaver's motivation, perhaps a tell-all book about Texas football, but nothing was ever published. More than 20 years later, it's a story about someone who didn't want the dream to end, even if that meant going 10 steps too far. I really can't say that I blame him. I mean, he somehow fell through the cracks, <laughs> broke a couple of federal laws, and, and you know, just kind of did what he had to do to get back in the scene again and play football. And you know, what, what, what happened to him? He didn't, he didn't get in trouble, he didn't really go to jail. I mean, nothing really happened. Everybody just kind of saw it as a, man, guy really loved football. Still unbelievable that that could happen even 23 years later. Mike Adams, who you just heard from, former wide receiver, told us that Bryant Westbrook is the last 95 Longhorn that he knows of to run into McKelvey. The Houston Chronicle also reported a couple years ago McKelvey was last known to be working in the restaurant business out on the West Coast. It is still the most bizarre of all the bizarre. Great reporting on that. That was fantastic. <laughs> Good catching up with all those former Longhorns.